That's wickedness! He died you can do this! machine repairs itself. Alright. Hurry up, Slowpoke. Whatever. Just don't lose it, Sly. Hmm. It looks like the production facilities in town are down. I'll have to look into that. I have a feeling Cooper has something to do with this. giving me a headache. He makes me so mad. I need to squash him once and for all. Then I can get things back on track. After I crush the Cooper gang, I'll put them all in the circus. Maybe even shrink that fan of theirs down and turn it into a clown car. How fun. Huh, my balloon surveillance system is malfunctioning. It's probably those darn birds again. I need to invent a scarecrow with a rocket launcher. <laughs> Blacksmith shop. Should I follow him inside? No, I'll take it from here, Sly. I should be able to get inside through that hatch on the roof. Time to get some answers.
I can't hear anything from up here. I'll have to get closer without being seen. I can turn those laser fields off with my darts. I better stay up here in the rafters. I can't risk being seen. Decisions, decisions. Should I feed Cooper to the dragon? Or make him into a rug? Maybe I'll feed him to the dragon. Then make him into a rug with the leftovers. Ha ha ha. No way I'm letting this guy get his hands on slime. We have to stop him. I really should add a refrigerator to this one. Cooper gang, they may have shut down operations for the time being, but I'll have the last laugh. My castle is impenetrable. Once Operation Overlord is complete, I will be unstoppable. Operation Overlord? I don't like the sound of that.
need to upgrade the design of those guards soon. They're malfunctioning too often. Maybe I should give them wheels instead of legs. <laughs> and where is that stinking the paradox when they need his help? He owes me everything for stealing Bentley's time machine plans. Bentley? Oh, Penelope, what a little fool you are. Oh, no. My plans? That means I caused all this? Penelope! Oh, please, Penelope, be all right! I swear on my mother's shell I will crush you myself, Black Knight! Time for a binary beatdown! Crap. 
one of those guards leak oil on my clean floors. Why is it so hard to find good help? Can you do invent a robotic Navy? <laughs> Looks like someone's AI routine hard up the stuff. When this business with Cooper is over, I need to take a vacation. Some place where I can get a fruit punch with a little umbrella. Somewhere tropical with no robots. Vacation? I'm gonna make sure the only place this guy's going is straight to prison. that thing it's not possible phew that thing's almost as stuffy as Bentley well, that would be uh, but why would she if only Bentley hadn't been brainwashed by Cooper's honorable thief nonsense we could have made billions in weapon design the two most brilliant minds on the planet working together we could have owned the world but no matter once Cooper's out of the way, he'll see things my way. Poor Bentley. He's kinda cute when he's being dumb. Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. When Bentley returned to the hideout, he crawled into his shell and wouldn't come out. Nobody could blame him. Penelope may have betrayed our friendship and trust, but she betrayed Bentley's heart. I knew he blamed himself for the whole predicament, but it wasn't his fault. Everyone took turns trying to coax him out, but nothing worked. In the end, it seemed that Bentley would have to come back to us on his own. Unfortunately, we couldn't wait around. We had a villain to take down. With or without Bentley's help. And this time, it was personal. We need to take Penelope down, but how? Man, we need Bentley back. I am still a bit bewildered that the Black Knight was a friend of yours. Yeah, well, obviously she's no friend of ours now. In the face of such treachery, there is but one option. We storm the castle and smash this villain! Okay, slow down, Turbo. How do we get inside the castle? 
That I know not. However, I do know how we may create some exceedingly useful explosive devices. You and I must part ways. I will gather fire bulbs while you must procure a bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Of course. And where would I get this? Why, at the carnival, of course. I hope your archery skills are satisfactory. Oh, I think I'm up to snuff. Then the die is cast! Fare thee well! <laughs> I seek the elusive firebulb. Three should be sufficient. One would never have guessed the Black Knight was a lady. A swift strike should dislodge it. Ah, no finer specimen will be found. Now to ferret out two more. Alas, this heavy armor is quite stuffy. One last swipe is needed. I need but one more bulb. These bulbs will surely make impressive bombs. One good smack and it should open forthwith. I hope Sly has given his archery much practice. Up, ladies and gents, try your luck in our game of skill. Well, hello, Governor. Want to have a go? Do well enough, and you could win yourself one genuine bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Guaranteed to cure despair, curl your hair, and answer your prayer. So, how is it for making bombs? I get it some fire bulbs in it. Bang, zoom, combustion. you are I believe you are a ringer I do ah oh, tip top that oh <laughs> you got the eye friend oh beautiful aim boy oh now that's a ticket Excellent, lad. A bit cross-eyed, are we? Good shot, lad. Call, cool, mate. You're dead on. Wicked shot, geezer. Well, that is how you do it, me son. Call, cool, mate. You're dead on. Beautiful aim, boy -o. Uh, It's 
the targets you want to hit me. Ah, oh, tip top that. Now you could give it another shot if you like. You're a natural, you are. I believe you are a ringer, I do. Excellent, lad. Oh, that's a trick. Now that's a ticket. Wicked shot, geezer. Well, that is how you do it, me son. Good shot, lad. Oh, <laughs> you got the eye, friend. I believe you are a ringer, I do. You're a natural, you are. Oh, that's a trick. Oh. me, me own mother shoots better than that. Excellent, lad. Oh, beautiful aim, boy -o. Well, that is how you do it, me son. Oh, you got the eye, friend. Good shot, lad. Wicked shot, geezer. Cool, mate. You're dead on. Now, that's a ticket. Ah, oh, tip top that. Brilliant shooting, boy. All right, troops, listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable. But we've got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Galeth, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me. I'll sally forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallop, wait! Why, thank you, Gallop. I've been looking all over for that. She 
is making her escape! I don't think so. Penelope, I saw some rust spots over there. No matter. Slay the heart and you slay the beast. Great. Looks like I gotta take those arms out again. Ron Penelope, feeling disarmed? I always hated your jokes! Come on! Keep fighting, Sly! Way to go, buddy! Keep it up! core out, I can take her down. Ready, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. Huh? You heard me. Bentley, your suit is that my my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it anyway. The design was adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much, at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh, bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential. Together, we could change the world, but you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow. And I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, 
He's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. You'll have to do better than that. You sure you can reach high enough? Sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. You know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him. Which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley. And we were going to need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. We'd travel to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kupar. An ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits and enjoy their golden years in peace. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere, and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al for some time. 
He had been working with a few of the remaining thieves, but had simply vanished. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out.